All right. I know I look crazy and I don't care. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and make this tonight. So what I have here, I put in this bowl. I don't know if y'all can see it. I got regular snow crabs. I got colossal king crab legs. Let's see if y'all can see that. Corn on the cob, shrimp, sausage, boiled egg. Because you know what? That's what I want. So that's what I made. I'm so happy, y'all. Because I got the king crab legs. Mm, excuse me. I got the colossal king crab legs. $2.39. 10 pounds. Costco's. I got a membership just to get, <coughs> excuse me, just to get the, um, the crab leg. I wasn't playing. I needed those things bad. The potatoes, I made them like a little too soft and I keep the skin on it because I don't care. Um, but I made the potatoes like a little too soft because I was doing some stuff and left them on too long. So, mm, they're still good though. And, um, I mixed, normally I have a separate little thing, but this is like my little sample. Yes, it's a sample. My little sample thing. But the juice with the seasoning is still really good. It's not thick though. I normally make like a thicker one. And um it's just normally really good. So I've been working with these for a while, y'all. Mm. Y'all, so, this is a Bluetooth headset that I have on my head, and I absolutely love it, because I listen to stuff sometimes when I'm sleeping, and this is so much more comfortable, because, like, the speakers are here, you can turn on there, and, um, this is pretty awesome. Oh, my God. When I tell you. Hey, yes, get some of that juice on there. Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting for these things. Oh my God, that's so good. So freaking good. Anyway, so, um, my hair. So, I was natural for a long time, mostly because I was wearing tracks and stuff, so it didn't really make no sense in um, actually relaxing my hair. And, um, but then I started wearing my hair out more and stuff like that, and I was like, well, you know what? I don't really want to have to be, I mean... Let me tell you, my heart is my hair is very disrespectful, y'all. When I say disrespectful, it doesn't give a damn what I have going on in my life. It's gonna do what the hell it wants to do. And give me the big old middle finger. So disrespectful. When my hair was natural, I went to the salon, got a blowout. She was just as bouncy. I stopped on my way home. To talk to one of my neighbors. And you know what happened? I watched myself transform into a poodle. Right before my eyes. Like, I could look in his window. My head just poofed up. I said, you know what? This is not my life. I relaxed my hair. I'm going to tell y'all what. It was one of the most freeing things I ever did in my life. It was just great. I got my hair wet before work. You know what? Psh, no big deal. It was fine. Before, 
when it wasn't relaxed though. Oh my god. I get wet. It's a wrap. This is the wrap. I perspire too much. It's a wrap. Anything. I had to be. I was like some sort of sensitive piece of equipment that had to be under strict climate control or else it was just not going to work. And so, um, yeah, I'm trying to get oil in here. This thing is so good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my hair. So, again, I started, um, like I said, I was wearing my hair out, wearing my hair out, whatever. Because, you know, I thought about it. I said, you know what? If I spend half the amount of time on relaxed hair, as I do on this natural hair, my relaxed hair should be just as healthy. Well, guess what? I didn't spend that much time on my um, relaxed hair. And so, of course, it started breaking. Well, then I decided I was going to get some twists. I love my twists, y'all. Love them. I fell in love with, like, the um, <clears throat> like the Marley twists or something like that. Are they the Marley twists? Anyway, I'll try to put a picture up here later. But, loved it. You can keep it. It's like the older it gets, the better it looks. So, love it. Um, and you can keep it in there for months, months, no hair damage, no nothing. So what I started doing was cutting the relax off little by little. Well, now I decided since I'm in the house, I might as well just go ahead and cut it off. So I ordered some stuff because there's this girl on YouTube and she has this, um, deep conditioning treatment and I'm going to try it. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to actually try to be consistent. I mean, since we're in the house anyway. Might as well, right? Um, man. This is so good, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not. I just... Mm. So, anyway. Back to the hair thing. So, yeah. So, that's where I'm at. It's a mess right now. And that's okay. I was going to do my nails tonight, but then I was, I knew I was going to get into the seafood and I was like, mm, not on fresh nails. I'll wait. Maybe I'll do them tomorrow. Once I finish this pot tonight. But y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, this stuff is so good. So I actually, I don't know if I told you, I actually have like the snow crab mixed in here too, because I felt like. I just needed to go ahead and make those snow crabs. So I figured I'd go ahead and put them in here. But I still got more. Oh my God, that butter. Man, listen. And people don't understand why I eat the way I eat. Because my food be good. I need to eat good food too. And they enjoy eating. As long as I'm not getting all health, unhealthy and out of shape. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to enjoy. I don't hear nobody talking about. I'm going to Yeah, I'm in heaven right now. Mm, mm, mm. And today is my Friday. And I'm off work until Monday. So that's awesome. I'm sitting in his big old sweater because it's cold in my house for some reason. Like, I got the heat up to, I think, like 75 or something. And for some reason, I'm still cold. I know. I don't have a fever. I'm just always cold. Um, actually, when my feet get cold, I don't know about y'all, but like, if my feet get cold, 
It's a wrap. My whole body is cold. It's over. Hey, that's always the one where you pull it out like that, right? Man. So, for my seasoning, I used um, a couple of sticks of butter. Um, I used Obey. Um, Obey Zatarin's, the shrimp and crawfish boil. Um, what else did I put in there? Some Badia Complete. I forgot my lemons, so I didn't have lemons to put in here. So, that happened. And, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, garlic. I didn't feel like cutting up the onions. I was kind of being lazy. So, I just threw some seasonings in there. And I think I put some, oh, chicken bouillons. I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure it has something to, something to do with something that I've seen online. Because I wouldn't have thunk it. So. I was preparing this. And I was like. Read a house for what? There's no reason to. At all. I'm making a mess y'all. But it's still worth it. I come up here for my first video looking crazy but y'all know what it's just who I am hey almost and y'all might get me up here cute y'all might get me up here looking like this but it don't matter you know what I mean? It's gonna be good. And I got milk. Oh my god. Like let me tell you something about me. There is not a food that I have met that doesn't taste better with an ice cold glass of milk. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I really wouldn't. Because um I think milk is like God's secret seasoning or something. It enhances the flavor of anything you eat. Like, there's not a food that I have met that doesn't taste better with an ice cold glass of milk. And I'm going to tell you something else you probably don't know. Here's a little scientific fun fact. You cannot simultaneously have a um, negative emotion while drinking an ice cold glass of milk. It's just not possible. I performed an experiment myself. I was pissed, pissed. And when I drank, when, as I was drinking and the milk was just going down, I was just filled with happiness and joy. Now, once the milk was gone, well, hmm, that's a different story. But, um, y'all do not understand how I'm feeling right now. This is juice. I want to pick up this bowl and just drink this juice. I'm going to tell y'all something. So, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this because, you know, like, people be doing, like, the smacking. And it actually really drives me crazy. But apparently that's the thing, right? So I'm trying to get in there a little bit. But I'm not big of a smacker. And then she does that. <laughs> but the corn is amazing. I don't know what it is about corn. It just absorbs the flavor of, oh my God.
Y'all, you know what? Mm. Woo. I'm so happy right now. This is a great way to start the weekend. Absolutely fantastic way to start the weekend. Yep. Now, I'm going to do my nails tomorrow. And maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll be doing some everything on here. I got some everything on here. Like, I got... I'm removing the paint off the cabinets. Changing the air filter in my car. I don't think I put the one where I was showing how to... How I grip extensions. But it's going to be everything. Nails, hair. I'm not a nail designer. Like, I'm just... I can just apply and paint. I haven't... I haven't even got to the point where I'm even interested in like designs and all that. I just wanna know that I can put them on. And they stay on. So there's that. Um mm -mm. so tomorrow it's not gonna last for tomorrow. Cause I'm not gonna sleep no time soon. So I'm going to end up getting me another bowl. But then I think I'm going to make me some thick sauce. Oh my god. I feel like I should have a job that pays me to travel and eat. I feel like that's only right. I feel like that's what I was meant to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't taken any culinary classes or anything like that. It just comes natural to me. And I have no qualms with. Oh my god, that's so good. I have no qualms with um experimenting with food. So therefore. I'm not going to go and drink cow's blood out of a cow's neck, though. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to eat um, a lot of bugs. Mm. Or squishy bugs. Or what else? Anything alive. I'm not eating anything alive. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do that. Mm. Let me see what else. Is there anything else I absolutely will not eat? I was going to say ass, but I didn't had turkey butts before. <laughs> anyway. And it was quite good. I can't even front. But, um. Yeah. But I go, you know, maybe, I don't know. I need to see. When I start traveling more, I can um start recording stuff and see how it goes from there. Um, excuse me. So, I used to have braces, right? Now, I never went back and... Um, got the retainer or whatever. I had to get a surgery right there. A phrenectomy, that's what it's called. So I had to get that done. And I was supposed to go back for the retainer and all that, and I didn't. Well, as y'all can see, I don't use no clampy things and all that. I don't use that. So I went to orthodontist one day. And normally what I would do, when it was time for my braces to get tightened, I would eat, I would go ham on food like the night before. So, I, um, <laughs> I had some crab legs. Well, apparently I missed a spot. Well, the dinosaur goes, you know, you really shouldn't be cracking crab legs, cracking crabs with your teeth. I'm like, what you talking about, Willis? 
He pulled his little tiny little crash. <laughs> they got caught up in my braces, y'all. I'm just like, well, can't deny that. Oh my god. When I had braces, that was crazy. It wasn't too bad. And I didn't talk funny. What was interesting, I made the mistake of eating. Um, I had just got my braces tight and like maybe I don't know. That week. It hadn't even been a week. And the next thing I know. The next thing I know, I decided I was going to go eat some curry shrimp. It was good. It was real good. You know what else they did? They stained my braces. Little rubber band thing. Mm -hmm. So you know what happened? I had to go back to the orthodontist. Nothing would work. Yeah, when I tell you I try everything, I was scrubbing with the whitening toupee. It wasn't working. I got some whitening strips, put it on there. I gargled with peroxide and salt water. Nothing. I did not want to go back to the orthodontist. Well, I had to go back to the orthodontist. I said, well, I guess corn on the cob ain't the only thing I'm going to stop eating while I got these braces on. Uh, or, like I'm smart, I would eat curry the day before I go to get them tightened. Because they were going to take them off anyway. So I got smart with that. But corn on the cob was the only thing that I couldn't eat when I had braces. Y'all, this stuff is so freaking good. Mm -mm -mm. If y'all understood how happy I am right now, I've been waiting for this. I had these King Crab Legs for a few days now. I'm going to wait till I'm off work. I can enjoy myself. Mm-mm. Come with. So today, this is what we doing. Hey, y'all know how happy. Oh, y'all know how happy this just made me. No, you don't. You can only imagine. Oh. <laughs> mm. My God. I'm going to tell y'all what was funny though. <clears throat> you know there was coronavirus stuff going on. I was in Costco's. And... This guy sneezed. If you seen the way people looked at him. Oh my god. It was so funny. And then to watch people practicing social distancing. That was funny too. Like you would see somebody come to the aisle, they would look down if they seen more than one person there, they ain't even go down the aisle. I did the same thing myself. I overcooked my egg, too. But, still good. <sighs> I'm gonna sleep well tonight, y'all. With a big old smile on my face. I was like, do I feel like dealing with shells and stuff tonight? That's the only reason why I was waiting. And I discovered, yes. 
Yes, I do feel like dealing with shells and stuff tonight. Mm, mm, mm. And you know what? I'm happy that these things are split down the side. That pleases me. I don't like that fatty stuff. These are like my new favorite things. These Colossal King Crab Legs. Look at that, y'all. What? Look at that. Oh, my God. Man, y'all. I wish I could, like, take what I was feeling right now and just, like, sprinkle it around the world. And just let everybody feel what I'm feeling right now. Everybody would be so much happier. It's like, that would be the happiest moment in time. Like, seriously. If people could just feel what I'm feeling right now. Look at that. I'm getting all this. This is not a game. I need to get me a tripod. I had one, but it broke. Man, listen. I was just talking to a friend of mine, and he doesn't like seafood. Like, I feel really bad for people who don't eat seafood. I'm like, well, how do you celebrate stuff? What do you eat when you celebrate or something? Like, we got a chicken? It's the craziest thing to me. I don't know. Oh my god, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. It's a little spicy. Cause that um, oh snap. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, I almost died. And then miss a beat that I still on. I almost forgot this little joker right here. Don't worry, Bubba. I got you. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. I'm making a mess, y'all. But it's so worth it. It is so worth it. I feel like as long as I have certain things, I'm still making mess. I don't need to leave my house. Mm. I really don't. Like, I don't mind peopling. But you know, for the most part, I don't mind being by myself either. I think now it's more so because they're saying that we can't really go anywhere. That's what the main issue is. Um, because I'm supposed to be on vacation. Like I'm supposed to be going on vacation the twenty fourth. Um, I don't know where I was going. Cause I be picking trips last minute. I be finding a deal. I just go. So, all my corn is gone, but you know what? I just had to get some more of that juice. I got my last couple pieces here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I don't even care. 
if I'm making a mess. <laughs> Told y'all it's spicy, I got my nose run. But it's so good. People ask me, how do you drink milk with seafood? Because it's delicious. They like, don't that tear your stomach up? No. I don't have a weak gut. At all. And I thank God. Oh my God. People like, oh, I can't drink milk. I can't eat ice cream. I can't eat this. I can eat almost anything I want. Except, there's a couple of things that have been kind of weird. I can't drink Chick-fil-A's milkshakes. It's something that they put in there. That makes my body, not my stomach, my whole body feels like, like it's something flowing through my veins that ain't right. So, and I tested it. I tested it three times because that strawberry milkshake with the um, whipped cream is the bomb. I don't know what they put on there, but it tastes so good. But I can't, I can't um, eat it. So, like. I don't eat like a lot of junk food, right? Like, I don't eat fast food. Except Chipotle. I love Chipotle. I don't know what y'all talking about. I love it. It's delicious. And so is this food. It's like just this sweetness. I think, you know what? I think the next time, I'm going to like soak the king crab legs first. Like soak them. Then, cook them with really no seasoning. And then put me like a little bowl because like, they have this sweetness to them, right? And sometimes that is lost. It just lost when you put too much other seasonings on there. <sighs> but, um, this just made my day. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that was good. It's like it just pulls everything together and just makes everything perfect, y'all. Anyway, I am done. I am about to whew, clean this stuff up. And I don't know, maybe find something to watch on Netflix or clear out a box or something. I don't know. I might go to sleep. I feel like the ice might be kicking in. But anyway...